Today we're going to change the seal in an HS pump. You need to start by taking off the housing. It's done by these eight bolts. And because the pump's full of water, I'm moving it over a bucket as I take this out. Ooh, this one. the old HS series, the first stage usually sticks in here. You will need to get that out. Okay. A pair of pliers to hold the spacer. And I got the wrong size. spacer so you're actually grabbing the piece on the top of the first impeller to keep it from spinning. That'll just spin around. Now the whole stack can come off. You don't need to separate these till you put them back on. Last impeller. Spring. Take the O-ring off. Now, how you get this piece off is going to be up to you, but the best way to do it is just stick something through the back 
and bang on it till you get it to pop up. Like that. Flip it over. Screwdriver, all whatever. Pop the seal out. Now, if you order the seal kit, it'll look something like this. It'll have your seal, the spring, o rings for your first stage, and your back plate. And it'll also have this piece in here, the slinger, which is not needed. So we get the seal out, the spring and the rings, seal goes first, press it in, drop your back plate back on. Now these springs sit down better than the springs on the B pumps if you have seen the B series seal replacement. That's all you need on these. And your last impeller goes on. Now you're going to have to break these up to put them on. Because you'll never get them to line up and they're full of water so it's probably just as well that you have to pull them apart. But that's your order. Again, hole is your bottom diffuser. Plate is for to hold the diffuser on. And then impeller on top of that and wear a ring on the impeller. And the next piece slips on, next diffuser slips over the metal holder. And this isn't sitting down properly. There it is. They should fit together snugly. Spacer, washer, nut. Uncooperative. Here again, these don't need to be real tight. Just don't want things flopping around. And your first stage goes on. If you notice on the stage, it says up and down. We try to make it easy. Now, replace the O-rings. Since you got them, it's never a bad idea. And we're ready to put the housing back on. And this can be fun at times. Tilt them a little bit, they usually go on a little easier. Of course, when you have the tank on the outside, it doesn't make it a touch heavier. So, we're going to prop that up a little bit. Line your holes up.
Okay. Oops. That was. And there you have it. You replace the seal in an HS pump. The only thing left to do is to water test it. Fill it with water and make sure it doesn't leak.